The world is made of billions of people. Different colors, different minds, different talents. Some are born with many blessings. Some are born with different challenges. But for those people who have few obstacles to face through life, it is nice to know that there are places where they can conquer those obstacles. Places that make them feel like they're home. Jark is one of those places. My name is Mia Weiss. I came in the Jark at a time where I needed some extra support. I didn't know much about Jark because I was new to the community, which it happened in 2011. Once I started, I began to understand what Jark is about. Jark is a place where you can be yourself because nobody's going to judge you for who you are. One great thing about Jark is our culture of gentleness. The way that we approach the situations with the people that we serve, how our eyes look. Are we giving them hugs? Are we holding hands? They can see the love in your eyes, the softness and everything in your eyes. Will you get a better response from it? I like a Gabriel home. I love it. I like to be with every naked staff. They go to me, cook for me. Sometimes I cook myself. We watch wrestling. Sometimes we go out a lot to make me laugh. Every naked like mom to me. I every naked I love this much. OK, everybody, we're going to welcome Shabbat. It's important for us to be connected with others so we can share our different stories. Nice to meet you, nice people. I love Jark. I get to do a lot of good stuff, meet a lot of different people when I get out. And I don't stay in the house all day. Yeah, Jark helped me get my job. I work at JBS where we do a lot of work like twisting and tying or folding. I enjoy my job. It's a great job. This year, Jark was able to go to the Michigan State Fair, and we were actually able to cut the ribbon for the first time. It was magic. It was like being a carnival. I love that stuff. You get to be a little kid again. One of the Jark events we do every year is the boat ride. Everyone gets together, we catch up, dance on the boat, and it's magical when the lights are out. This started uh, 21 years ago when my late wife passed on. And in honor of her, because she was involved in Jark, we have this boat ride. And I get such great feeling to see all the clients here and enjoying themselves. I think it's so important that they're able to go out and relax and have a wonderful time. The caregivers that are out there taking care of these people are phenomenal. The feeling that they have, I mean, it's unreal. The devotion that they give to the Jark people. I think this was the best investment I've done in my life. The caregivers have a great heart. They go above and beyond, showing us that we're not alone. They'll be there, they'll support us no matter what. They would sacrifice some of their own time, like their own personal time, to make sure we're OK. This is not a job that we um, do for the money. You have to have passion for the job. It's not easy at all to have your own home and financial struggles. And you still have to push it all to the side to worry about the people that we serve. You have a lot going on. You have, I'm so sorry. I'm sorry. And you will want to put as much effort as you put into the people that you serve. You would love to do it for your family. But you know that these people need it way more than you. You have family, some don't. And if they don't, they don't have a lot. If I can be more people to them and that support, I would love to be that. There's a lot of things that's going on now with 
with this field. We are losing funds and everything, and it's a struggle. Some people that don't have the passion for this, they do leave, and they leave fast. So we have to work double as hard as the next. And we have to be there for each other because if we don't, who's gonna be there for the people that we serve? Caregivers do a lot by giving their time for us to help with our medicine, to help us with our wheelchair, help us with our cooking when we're struggling and didn't know how to make something. Caregivers give us the strength we need to conquer any challenge. Well, I love what I do because when you give to people that need your assistance in just everyday care, there is a reward and a fulfillment within yourself because the things that you can do for yourself on an everyday scale, oftentimes they cannot. So you're fulfilled knowing that you help someone throughout their day. I have my own family, I have my own children. I have a special needs son that when I leave here, I'm going home to. As a matter of fact, today is his birthday. And uh, he is 26 years old, and I'm going to celebrate his birthday today when I leave here. So when I um, get up in the morning, I take care of him before he goes off to his program. Then I come here and I take care of them, and then back home to do it again. One day, you know, when I'm ready to transition him into this type of setting, Jark is where I want him to be. important things we could do at Shark is to reward the people that serve, the people who we serve, so that they, they're motivated and, they, and we can hire and retain the best people to provide the best care possible for those we serve and their families. We need your advocacy on a regular basis, both donating, of course, to JARC, but especially to advocate with your local legislators, your state legislators, and certainly the legislators on a federal level to understand that this is not about actuarial statements. This is not about dollars and cents. This is about people and the value that people have to our community. I take care of myself. <laughs> Man, we take care of you. I take care of you. <laughs> <laughs> I take care of My life at Jack has been fulfilling. I'm happy that I have friends and people that look after me. I hope that you will support it. I'm perfect. It's dark, and I'm not, I'm not, just. Jark has given me the ability to meet everybody, all different kinds of people, and they became my friends. That's what Jark is about, community connection, have us be like those other people where we feel like we're not different, Without that support, I wouldn't be stronger than I am today. Jark is my life.